Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, Rene, Angel, eh, Iris, Alison. Welcome to class. Eh, it's very um, important for us to continue eh, with our section number three today. We are going to start. Remember that eh, today and tomorrow we are going to conclude the section number three. So uh, coming week, we are going to study section number four and the last week, the section number five in the final exam. Hello, Hester and Alison, Raquel, Hello. Angel, Iris and Carlos, welcome. Okay, we are going to start. And uh, first of all, I want to show you uh, the platform. I want you to see which part we are going to work today. So in the 3.0 lesson objective says, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner. So we are going to study words uh, like such as, so, to, neither, and either or either. So we are going to learn that we can have two different ways to pronounce this word. Uh, so these words will be introduced in this, uh, in this class. Uh, so just wait for me for a minute. Let's see. okay. So in this uh, platform section, you have the 3.1 going out for dinner video. So you can go and watch it as many times as you can, because uh, in that video, you will see the application of so, to, neither, and either, or either, um, either. In, in, the, in the context, right? You can see either in the American English and you can listen either in the British or, you, uh, or United Kingdom English, right? So you can listen both, either or either, right? So both are correct. One is in the American English, most common, either, and either in the British English. So uh, we are going to cover also the 3.2 lesson objective that says, in this class, participants will understand the use of so, to, neither, and either. With these words, uh, participants may express agreement and or disagreement, right? Uh, again, you have another video. Well, so, so, excuse me, to, neither, and either. And then we will go to the knowledge check. Right, but before to go to the knowledge check, I want you to see my presentation and that we can advance a little bit on the topic and later we will, we come, we will come back to this part. So let me go and show you. I would like that you can confirm if, can you watch my screen? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect, perfect. So I'm going to expand a little bit in order that you can watch it better. So. Just let me hide myself. Okay. Uh, here we have so and to, right? Uh, it says that we use so and to, uh, they are used to show agreement with positive statements said by a person. Uh, so plus auxiliary be or have plus the subject, right? The auxiliary verb uh, or uh, that can be to be or to have needs to agree with the verb tense in the original statement. For example, I am happy. The person with the, uh, by the per it says by the person A. So if the person A says, I am happy, the person B should be in agreement with the verb to be, the, which is in bold. So it says, so am I. Right when you want to agree with that person, I am happy today. Maybe I can come here to the class and say, "Hello, hello, my dear participants. I'm very happy today." And you say, eh, "So am I." Each one of you say, "So am I." You're making a noise. So are you. I need more money. So do I. Steve's like pizza. She so does Mary. Right because I'm talking about a third person. Steve likes pizza, so does Mary. I was tired this morning, so was I. Look, was, was. We were late, so were they. I watched a movie last night, so did I, because I'm talking about a past action, right? She can play the guitar, so can I. 
we could see the stars, so could I. She will win an award, so will I. I would like a cup of coffee, so would I. Look, would, would. Will, will. Could, could. Can, can. Even though we're talking about modal auxiliaries, this can be in agreement. The, the person B has to use the so plus the verb in agreement with the, with the person A expression. Uh, he, he should study more, so should I. They have finished early, so have I. He had eaten too much, so had I, right? So uh, in this case, I'm using the auxiliary, not the, the main verb. Uh, it says that sometimes you can use so plus the auxiliary plus subject as a continuation of the first part of the sentence. Uh, for example, John can sing very well and so can his brother, right? It means, or it equals to say, John can sing well and his brother can sing well too. So in other words, when we use the expression so, it's because I'm expressing the same thing like the person A already expressed. Um, in this case, when I say I am happy, so am I. When you say so am I, basically you say I am happy too. When you say you're making a noise, so you are. Basically you're saying you're making a noise too, right? So what the so, the so um, expression uh, does in a sentence is that it shortens the agreement, right? The agreement expression in order to don't repeat the same thing. For example, I need more money, so do I. It's equal to say, I need more money too. Steve likes pizza, she does Mary. Or it, it equals to say, Mary likes pizza too. I was tired this morning, so was I. It equals to say, I was tired too. We were late, so were they. It equals to say, they were late too. I watched a movie last night, so did I. Equals to say, I watch a movie too. She can play the guitar, so can I. Equals to say, I can play the guitar too. We could see the stars, so could I. Equals to say, I could see the stars too. She will win an award, so will I. Equals to say, I will win an award too. I will like a cup of coffee. So would I. Equals to say, I would like a cup too. He should study more. So should I. This is equals to say, I should study more too. They have finished early. So have I. It's equals to say, I have finished early too. He had eaten too much. So had I. Equals to say, I had eaten too much too. So if you see, so uh, the expression so basically shortens the agreement with the other person. Neither and either, right? Neither plus the auxiliary plus the subject. In this case, the auxiliary is the verb be or the verb have, right? So in this case, it's an agreement, right? Neither and either are used to agree with negatives. Uh, certainly is an agreement, but with a negative expression, right? It's not with a, an, a positive or affirmative statement like so. In this case, neither or either is in agreement, but with a negative statement. Uh, that is said by a person A, okay? So, uh, for example, person A says, um, I am not hungry, right? So the person B says, neither am I, which is equals to say, I am not hungry either or either, right? Look that in this case, the either goes at the end of the sentence and neither goes at the beginning of the short expression uh, of agreement in the negative statement. You're, you're, you aren't trying, neither are you. You aren't trying either. I don't need help, neither do I, equals I don't need help either or either. Steve doesn't like fish, neither does Sam, equals to say Sam doesn't like fish either or either. I wasn't bored, 
neither was I. I wasn't bored either. They weren't invited, neither were we. We weren't invited either. I didn't like the book, neither did I. Equals to say, I didn't like the book either. I can't swim, neither can I. I can't swim either. I couldn't see him, neither could I. Equals to say, I couldn't see him either. She won't be there, neither will I. Equals to say, I won't be there either. I wouldn't eat that, neither would I. Equals to say, I wouldn't eat that either. I shouldn't worry, neither should I. I shouldn't worry either. They haven't studied, neither, I, neither I, have I. Equals to say, I haven't studied either. He hadn't finished, neither had I. Equals to say, I hadn't finished either. So sometimes you will see or hear nor plus the auxiliary plus the subject. For example, I wasn't ready, nor was I. It's equals to say, neither was I. Nor is equal to, equals to neither. You cannot say, I am not hungry too. That is not correct because two is for positive statements. Remember that two is with so. It's uh, the partner of so. When you use, when you use uh, like this, um, so am I, I'm happy too. And two goes at the end. So please don't use two to say a negative statement. Instead, you have to say, for example, if someone says, I'm not hungry, you say, I'm not hungry, you can say or respond, I'm not hungry either, right? Either, not two, because it's a negative statement. Okay, now, um, we use neither or not either or either if the addition follows a negative statement. So two, neither or not either either expresses similarity, but remember that so and to are used for affirmative in uh, neither or not either to express similarity in negatives. Uh, but is used in addition of contrast. This is an, an, an extra. So I have here some examples. I like Japanese food a lot, so do I. Or you can say, I do too. I'm crazy about the dessert, so am I. I am too. I can eat spicy food, so can I, or I can too. Uh, this is, if you see, affirmative um, expressions. But what happened with negative? I don't like greasy food, neither do I, or I don't either, or either. I am not in the mood of Indian food, neither am I, or I'm not either. I can stand fast food, Neither can I, I can't either. Remember, uh, you can say, I am not hungry, I am not either, neither am I. I don't dance salsa, I don't either, neither do I. I can't swim, I can't either, neither can I. Again, neither and uh, either I don't speak English, neither do I, I don't either. I am not in the mood of Indian food, neither am I, I'm not either. Uh, this is negatives, right? Here I have for affirmative. She likes going to the cinema, so do I, or oh, I do too. I can eat spicy food, so can I, I can too. Okay, I have here more examples that I'm going to show you, I'm going to send you with the extra material that I'm going to share with you uh, through the Google Drive. Uh, today uh, in the morning, I send you this, um, this um, link. I already sent you the link, not today, uh, yesterday, but today I upload the extra materials of yesterday class. So if you check every afternoon, you will find the class that we studied uh, at night because every morning I will upload 
to the drive the materials that we have been studying the, the night before. Um, remember, when I say, so am I, it's equals to say, I am too. Neither am I, I am not either. So do I, I do too. Neither did I, I didn't either. So can I, I can too. Neither can I, I can't either. So have I, I have too. Neither have I, I haven't either, right? So I need some volunteers. Necesito algunos voluntarios eh, porque vamos a hacer una speaking practice, a eh, group speaking practice eh, of pronunciation of these expressions. So I will need three volunteers. Necesito tres voluntarios que me ayuden a leer estos tres párrafos. So who wants to? Let's see. Me. Mm -hmm. Please, Rene, would you like to read this paragraph for us? Yes. So, so am I, mm -hmm. or I am too. Neither am I, or I'm not either. Mm -hmm. So do I, or I do too. Mm -hmm. Neither did I, or I didn't either. Mm -hmm. So can I, or I can too. And neither can I, or I can neither. So have I, or I, I have too. And neither have I, or I haven't either. Excellent, thank you, thank you very much. Second volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Rocio, please go ahead. So am I, or I am too. Neither am I, or I am not either. So do I, I do too, neither did, neither did I, mm -hmm. I didn't either. Mm -hmm. So can I, I can too, neither can I, I can, I can't either. So I have, so ha, so have I, I have too, mm -hmm. neither have I, I haven't either. Excellent. Thank you, Rocio. My last volunteer for this block. Me. Eh, escuché dos mí. ¿Dónde está? <laughs> vamos a ver. Eh, Raquelita Campos y la otra compañera ya le vamos a pedir que nos apoye en el siguiente. ¿Sí? Okay, okay. Raquel. Eh, okay. So am I. Mm -hmm. I am too. Mm -hmm. Neither am I. I am not too. I not either. Mm -hmm. So do I. I do too. Neither did I. I didn't either. So can I. I can too. Neither can I. I can't either. So have I. I have too. And neither have I. I haven't either. Excellent. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you very much. Okay, see here. Uh, I have some positive responses. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more volunteers. I need four for the positive responses and I need four for the negative responses. It's almost the same, but with an extra element in the sentence. Remember that for positive responses, we have so plus the auxiliary verb plus the subject. Or you can have the subject plus the auxiliary verb plus two. So who wants to continue? Me, teacher. Eric, okay. Uh, I, I need that you could read the first one. Okay. I love pizza. So do I. I do too. Me too. Excellent. Thank you. Volunteer number two. Vamos a ver. Se me quedó una voluntaria del ejercicio anterior. Pero no sé quién era. Me. Okay, please, my dear. Adelante. Um, second. Yes, please. I can swim. So I can, can I, I can too. Me too. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Volunteer for number three. Me, teacher. Ellie, go ahead, please. I will go home now. 
So will I, I will too, me too. Okay, volunteer for number four. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. Please. Okay, thank you, volunteer for number four. Okay, Noria, please. I, I have been to New York, so have I. I have to, me too. Excellent, thank you very much. Remember that all those are for positive responses. Now I need other four volunteers for the negative responses. In the negative responses, remember that the formula is neither or uh, yet yeah, neither plus the auxiliary verb plus subject or subject plus auxiliary verb plus not plus either. So volunteer for number one in the negative responses. Iris, please. Would you like to? Uh, see, uh, I don't like mean people, neither do I. I don't either, me neither. Okay, thank you. Number two, volunteer for number two. I haven't heard Angel. Okay, vamos a ver, my dear lady. Adelante, Iris. Creo que era Iris, ¿verdad? Sí. No, teacher, me. No. Perdón, era, eh, ay, es que no. ¿Quién es mi, perdón? Solo veo el micrófono de Iris. Adelante, Rocío. Perdón, no, no la veo en verdecito. Ok, number two. I can uh, juggle. Is juggle uh, or who is juggle. 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 Uh -huh. juggle. Neither can I. I can either. Uh, me neither. Ok, thank you. Volunteer for number three. And me. Ok, Alison. I want shift, ne neither, well, I want either, me neither. Okay, N excellent, neither, neither, right? Neither, neither will I? Neither. I want either, uh, either or either, or me neither. Okay, thank you. Last one, who wants to um, do the, the last one of the negatives? May I, teacher? Yes, please, go ahead. I have never been to Hawaii. Neither have I, I haven't either, me neither. Excellent, excellent, thank you. Eso sería como eh, yo tampoco, ¿verdad? Eh, yo no he ido tampoco y eh, es como acompañar la negación, ¿verdad? Thank you, thank you very much. Teacher. Adelante. Who, who, what, what is the different, different? Me too, and so do I. Eh, so do I es yo también. Eh, so do I. Así, 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 así me pasa a mí. O es así, así pienso yo, ¿verdad? O así, lo que sea. El, el do, recuerda que el do eh, mm -hmm. está en concordancia con el verbo principal. Por ejemplo, si usted me, me dice, mm -hmm. I like pizza, y yo le digo, so do I, lo que le estoy diciendo es, a mí me gusta. Eh, a mí, eh, así me gusta a mí o a mí me gusta también pero eh, uh -huh. es básicamente el mismo meaning ¿verdad? Eh, I do tú es como eh, yo también ¿verdad? I do tú a mí me gusta también porque el tú es equivalente a like a mí me gusta uh -huh. también la segunda oración y la tercera mi tú a mí también eh, el so do I es como así me gusta a mí eh, literal, okay. ¿verdad? Así me gusta a mí, sería, pero pero Igual, no hace mucho sentido ya en la traducción, ¿verdad? ¿Perdón? Ok. Igual a mí. Ajá, igual a mí. Eh, esa ah, podría okay. ser una mejor traducción. Igual a mí, exactamente. Esa es la más contextualizada. Exacto. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Eh, vean, eh, I have here another example. I like Japanese food a lot. Ese a lot ya le agrega como muchísimo, ¿verdad? Me gusta la comida japonesa a lot. A lot es muchísimo. Entonces el number one es so do I, ¿verdad? I do too sería el segundo y me too, el tercero. Pero luego alguien sale en desacuerdo. Imagínense, in a friend's conversation, 
there's someone that says, uh, is, is it, uh, he disagrees or she disagrees and says, really? I don't like it very much. That's another polite way to say, uh, I disagree with you, right? Um, and second one, I am crazy about dessert. Uh, it's like, uh, I like it very much, right? It's, it's similar. So the, the first one, so am I, I am too, me too. But someone is, is in disagree and you say, oh, I am not at all. That's another polite way to disagree. Uh, let's see, uh, I don't like greasy food. Number one, agree, neither do I. Remember that this is a negative, right? Uh, I don't either or either. Agree, me neither. Disagree, oh, I like it a lot. <laughs> Look, disagree, but in, a, in an affirmative way, right? I am not in the mood for Italian food. Ese es not in the mood, es como que no estoy de ánimo, ¿verdad? Para comida italiana. Eh, so it's a negative. So the agree is neither am I. I am not either or either. Me, neither. Disagree, really, I am. <laughs> it's a disagree in the other way around. Okay, uh, perfect. I have here an exercise that I, I have for you. And I would like to ask you to please take a picture if you can. I'll do it and I'll send it to you. And I expect that we can work together in trios, trying to uh, give in the right or the best answer for this. So the instruction says, um, unfortunately, you always agree with Chris or he will uh, get angry, used. So do I, I do too, neither do I, I don't either or either, right? And you have the first two um, exercise, exercises already done. So you have to work from number three to 11. And, what you, and, and then I'm going to send you so two, either and neither, okay? I'm going to send you both. And again, the first two are already solved, but you have to complete from number three to number 10. So I'm going to send you the exercises first, and then I'm going to send you the meanings that we have been working. Okay, so let me send it to you now. And I'm going to send you, oh, excuse me. Okay, I think it's easier this one because you already have the examples. I think this is the best. Okay. So, do you have questions so far on what we are going to do? Tenemos preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer en el grupo? Uh, yo sí tengo una pregunta. Adelante. Y es respecto al segundo ejercicio. Uh -huh. No sé si lo, si, si, lo puede, si lo puede colocar, por favor. Sí. Ese, ese. Ajá, eh, sí. Entonces, aquí, lo que, aquí es, que lo que, que es lo que ten, ten, tenemos que hacer con esa actitud. Tiene... Eh, perdón, dice, you never want to agree eh, with Ayako. Usted nunca quiere estar de acuerdo con Ayako. Answer in the way shown. Y, y conteste en la forma que se le muestra. Por ejemplo, dice, I'm tired. Are you? I'm not. <ríe> estoy cansada, dice usted, o estoy cansado. Y ella dice, ¿Estás can es como, ¿estás cansada? O, are you? Como cuestionando, ¿verdad? Yo no, yo no, <risa> ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, I'm not, la otra forma hubiera sido, si no hubiese sido esta, eh, I'm tired. Eh, aquí, si usted se fija, como usted tiene que ir en contra, eh, contestó de esta manera, pero podría haber utilizado eh, las, las, las otras formas. Por ejemplo, really, I am not, ¿verdad? O podría haber utilizado... Eh, como era, 
eh, en este caso, el so, ¿verdad? Y el tú son para estar de acuerdo en oraciones afirmativas. Y lo que la chica está haciendo es una oración afirmativa. Pero como usted le tiene que llevar la contraria, tiene que buscar otra forma de decirlo, que no necesariamente son esas. It's okay. okay. I understand. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. I am not hungry. Aren't you? I am. I don't like wine. Si, si yo tuviera que afirmar con ella, tendría que decir, neither do I. Pero como le tengo que llevar la contraria, I have to say, the, uh, I have to say a contrary opinion. I don't like wine. Why not? I like it, for example. Right? Uh, look here. In this case, you are always agree. Vea, este caso es diferente. Unfortunately, you always agree with Chris or he will get angry. En este caso, usted siempre va a estar de acuerdo con él. Entonces, cuando siempre usted está de acuerdo, ¿qué utiliza? So do I, I do too. Si es una oración afirmativa, pero si es una oración de, negativa, utiliza neither do I, I don't either, pero siempre está de acuerdo con la persona. ¿Sí? So, they are opposites. Entonces, los casos son opuestos. En el primero, usted está de acuerdo en todo, pero en el segundo, usted no. Usted le va a llevar siempre la contraria. <laughs> Is it clear now? A little bit? Un poquito más claro? Yes, teacher. Ok, yes. si no, no se preocupen. Si no, no se preocupen. El segundo lo hacemos juntos. Si lo sienten un poco tricky. Ok, do you have more questions, my dear? No? Ok, perfect. So I'm sending you to the breakout room. So I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to send you to, so we are 11. Okay. So let me create the session for you. Please join when you receive the invitation. Okay. ¿Quién tiene la respuesta de esa que esa ahorita no ni se me ocurre nada? Okay. <laughs> If you need some help, you can tell me. Si me necesitan, aquí estoy. I'm here. Uh, I don't like eh, sería. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería. Pero es que no se puede ser, decir don't you tampoco, ¿verdad? Eh, which one? Which one are you working with? ¿Con cuál está trabajando ahorita? Una tercera. Three, three, three. Number three. three. I want, but you're, you're taking from uh, the one from the lady. La de la chica están haciendo. Yes. Yes. Ajá. Yes. Uh -huh. I don't like wine. Eh, ah, ok. I know what is missing. Vean, le voy a mandar, ya sé lo que le va a resolver la vida ahorita. Le voy a mandar eh, donde estaba en red en blue. Que siempre sale el que lleva la contraria. Ok. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's going to solve your life and your problems. Vean, the possible ways are, really? Oh, I okay. like it. Por ejemplo, no me gusta el vino. I don't like the wine. And you say, really? I like it very much. Or, oh, I like it a lot. Or, really? I love it. <laughs> Or you can say, oh, I'm not... Eh, I, I, o simplemente decir, oh, I disagree, ¿verdad? Es, no estoy de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, estoy enseñándole formas de eh, también no estar de acuerdo en todo. Ok. <laughs> ok, I, I already sent it, ya lo mandé. Can you watch it? Thank you. Yes. Yes. Ok, perfect. See you in a minute, ok? I'll go to the other group. Ok, okay. teacher, thank okay, you. Ok, you're welcome, my dears. Thank you. Entonces, uh -huh. I, I did too. 
I did. I did. Number four. I won't be able to come to bed next week. I won't. I won't. Say I won't. Hello, my dears. Do you have questions? Hello, uh, teacher. I won't I, be able. I already sent you. I already sent you to the WhatsApp group. Uh, one of the slides where you can find expressions to disagree. For example, uh, when you say, uh, I don't like something, you can say, oh, I like it a lot. Or really, I like it. Uh, okay. So you can, you can take some of those in order uh, to solve the, the chart of the lady that you need to be in, in disagreement, right? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. See you in a minute. You're welcome. Air conditioner. Um, Me too. Ah, no, 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 uh, Me neither. Hello, neither. is everything okay? Ne neither. Hello, my neither. dears. Hello. I already sent you, hello, I already sent you to the WhatsApp, the other slide where you can find some examples to be on the contrary of the people, right? So yeah. this is going to be useful for the for the exercise of the lady when it says that you need to be in disagreement all the time. Uh, yes, yes, we have. Okay, perfect, yes. excellent, excellent. Do Thank you have you. questions? Mm, no, teacher. Okay, excellent. See you in a minute. I I leave you in order to con you can continue working. Okay. Sí, sería de preguntarle a la teacher eso, si vamos a utilizar siempre el auxiliar dúo o vamos a utilizar ya está la el ya está la teacher. Hello, I'm here. Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas. Adelante. Eh, yes, eh, verdad que vamos a utilizar para, la, para contestar con neither o either. Si, uh -huh. es, si es neither, tenemos que utilizar el verbo que se está utilizando en, en sí. la... Oración, ¿verdad? Sí, el mismo verbo que se está usando en la oración, por ejemplo. Mm. Eh, but, pero en el caso de la chica, en el caso de la chica, acuérdense que tienen que ir en desacuerdo siempre. Sí, Entonces, ahí... por, eh, les mandé una slide donde está en color rojo y azul y ustedes pueden ver abajo al final donde dice disagree, otras expresiones para estar en desacuerdo, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. but, en el primer caso, por ejemplo, I watched TV last night. Eh, en este caso, con el verbo watch, you, usted puede utilizar el do. Eh, so, so do I. Porque el verbo está en... Eh, ah, no. So did I. So porque did el verbo I. está en pasado. Si el verbo está en presente, usted puede decir so do I. Pero si el verbo está en pasado, so did I. Pero también podemos utilizar... Uh, I watch TV too. No. O tiene que ser I watch... Like la idea, es que, la idea es que utilicen las cuatro expresiones que están ahí para las afirmativas. Eh, so did I or I did it too. Ok. Uh -huh. Va, veamos una negativa. Eh, number four. I won't be able to come to class next week. Esa es una negativa. Entonces usted puede decir, eh, como dice, I won't. Entonces el que tiene que utilizar es el won't. Entonces usted dice, I won't either. O oh, neither, neither, uh, neither will I. Neither sí. won't. Will, en este caso, will. Porque, porque acuérdese ah, que... Ah, sí, next week. Sí, ah, okay. sí next week. Sí, will. Neither sí, will sí. I. Uh -huh. neither will I. Entonces vamos ahí con, con el verbo, ah, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Comprendo. Sí, okay. sí. Excellent. Do you have extra questions? Mm. 
tampoco por el momento no. Ok, let's, let's continue working and I'll come back in a minute. I'll see okay. around the groups, ok? Thanks. You're welcome. Ok, bueno, pues era... diciendo como yo yo sí yo también sí ahí tendré que decir I am Mary creo que así se dice hello I'm here do you need some help cómo yes. vas <risa> un poco excuse me a ver cuéntenme cómo les ayudo how can I help Creo que nos confundimos en la manera en cómo poder contestar. Bueno, al menos a mí me confunde un poco. Vaya, ¿cuál están tratando de hacer? Si me dicen cuál el número. Number seven, I am not married. I am not married. Como usted le va a llevar la contraria, tiene que decir, aren't you? ¿No estás? Aren't you? I am. Ah, ok. Este, son como respuestas bien cortantes. Son bien decimos. cortantes, por eso es que le ponen las dos guías aquí arriba. Entonces, cuando es una mm. afirmativa, are you, I am not. Cuando es mm. una negativa, I'm not hungry, aren't, aren't you? you, I am. Entonces es lo mismo, ¿verdad? I am not married, aren't you, I am. <ríe> ok. Sí, that's it. Okay. That's, only, okay. that's the only way. Pero si ustedes quieren ponerse creativos, también está la otra opción que les mandé en el WhatsApp group. Eh, ¿Dónde es está? Ajá, exacto. Que usted le puede decir, oh, eh, o puede decir, really? Eh, I'm, mar I'm married. <ríe> o puede nah. decir, oh, eh, I'm married. Eh, o I'm puede not. decir, por ejemplo, creo que esas serían las dos que más se adaptan. ¿Verdad? Si usted le quiere cambiar y hacerlo como, como en este caso, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. ¿Do you have more questions? No, teacher. No, no, creo que ese no. es el más confusing. El otro es más sencillo porque es siempre ir a favor de o, o al, en, en la misma tónica que la persona, ¿verdad? Ok. En el otro lo que tienen que verificar son los tiempos de los verbos, ¿sí? No sé si lo pueden mover un ratito solo para... Ahí está. Por ejemplo... Number three, I watched TV last night. If you see the verb is in past. So when you agree, you have to say, so did I, or I did too. See? ¿Sí? Okay. Because it's past. Okay, number four, uh, I, I won't be able to come to classes, to classes next week. And then you say, como es una oración negativa, entonces voy a usar neither do I. Entonces you, usted dice, Neither will I, porque dice won't, will not. Está usando will. Entonces, neither, neither will I o I will not either. ¿Sí? Ok. Entonces lo hacemos en agreement con el verbo que usted tiene ahí. Number five. I live in Nagano. Let's see. Sí, Nagano. Nagano, ok. I live in Nagano. Entonces ahí es so do, so do I, ¿verdad? Y, y queda do porque el verbo está en presente. Live, okay. ¿verdad? Entonces so do I o I do too. Ok. I Excelente. would like to go to... No sé cómo se pronuncia. I would like to go to Kyoto. 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 Kyoto in summer. summer. Uh -huh. I would like to go to Kyoto in the summer. Lo mismo, ¿verdad? So do I. So do I. So do I. I. Ajá. Eh, eh, o puede decir, I'd like to. Porque uh -huh. vea que está usando would like. Uh -huh. Entonces usted puede decir, I, I would like to. Y utiliza los mismos verbos. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, la siguiente, I can play the, okay. the violin. violin. Es negativa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ahí, neither do I. O I don't, o neither, neither can I. O okay. I, I can't either. Either. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí, porque es un, es un auxiliary verb. Eh, la otra está fácil, ¿verdad? I don't like air conditioners. Eh, neither do I. I don't either, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando llevamos el don't es bien fácil. 
neither do I, I don't either. Ok. Y con el can, eh, por ejemplo, I can't stand NATO, you can say, eh, neither, neither can I, I can't either. Either. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Excellent. See you in a minute, ok? okay. So you have, yeah, let me see, because of the time, you have one more minute to advance. If you don't finish, don't worry, we can do it in the plenary session, ok? Ok, teacher, thank you. Excellent. See you. Hello, I'm here. May I help you? <laughs> How can I help you? I was around. Number six. Number six. Uh -huh. Let's see. You're with the lady, right? So let me check here. Number six. I thought the test was easy. You can say, uh, do you? Porque dice, um, I thought the test was easy, pero vea que el thought es pensé. Entonces, mm -hmm. did you, did you, did you, I didn't, did you, uh -huh. I didn't. Es como, ¿pensaste? Yo no pensé. Uh -huh. Okay, my dears, I'm going to leave you because someone is calling me, okay? Okay. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. Don't worry if you cannot finish. We will. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Hello, my dears. We have a question. So yeah, tell me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I was in another group, but we finished the explanation. Tell me. In the second, in in the second exercise, mm -hmm. the number, the number six. Uh, the second of the lady. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought. I thought the test was easy. Yeah. Okay, so re look, the verb is in past. I thought. So you say, in order to say the contrary, the lady says, I thought the test was easy. And then you say, did you? I didn't. I did. Did, did, did you? Did you? Es como pensaste? I didn't, yo no. <ríe> Porque la chica dice, yo pensé que el test estaba fácil. Entonces, como yo le quiero llevar la contraria, digo, did you? I didn't. Ah, no pensé. Teacher, no. in, the, in this exercise, uh, the, the, the question is only pronoun and verb. Yeah, you need to have agreement with the verb. Tiene que tener eh, concordancia con el verbo. Si el verbo está en pasado, entonces usted utiliza eh, un auxiliar o el equivalente en pasado. Y el otro verbo no lo usamos, teacher, el was. No lo puede ser, este... No, eh, porque, no, sol, solamente el thought. No. Ah, okay. Solamente the, el thought. For, for example, the number, number nine, I drive uh, Daihatsu. The... I, I drive, I drive, a, I drive a Daihatsu, eh, sería, eh, do you? I don't. Do okay. you? Ah, ok, ok. Do you? Porque drive, presente, ¿verdad? Entonces en presente yo utilizo la concordancia, do you? Ah, de veras, eh, lo manejas. Ese do you es, ah, lo manejas. I don't. Mm. Yo no. Y puede, si usted quiere agregarle, I drive a Toyota, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, other, 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 um, other brand, other marca, other brand. Other the, brand. And the first um, exercise, number 10, what is the meaning NATO? I can start NATO. It's yeah. a, let me, let me check what it is, but it's not a, a, a proper name because it's in a, a small letters, NATO. The number 10. Yeah, NATO meaning. I'm going to tell you now. NATO is, the definition is a dish of fermented soybeans with pungent flavor and glue texture that is eaten chiefly in Japan and usually served. Let's see, let's see more. But it's a Japanese dish. 
which is like gelatinoso, like jelly, right? Uh, with its uh, usually served over rice. Oh, okay. okay. Es como que le pusieran gelatina su arroz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a Japanese dish. Okay. That's natto. Okay, thank you for asking. So, uh, we just, because of the time, we need to come back to the plenary session. So, don't worry if you didn't finish. We are going to do it uh, in the plenary session all together. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, see you in a minute. Thank you. Hello, hello, welcome back. Hello, hello, my dear participants, welcome back. How was the exercise? ¿Cómo estuvo el ejercicio? So, so. <laughs> so, so. I know, I know, I know. But uh, it's interesting because you will uh, practice. I'll send you the materials for you to conclude. But by now, uh, I would like to have some volunteers that can, that can show us or can share with us how was uh, the possible answers. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo les quedó? Perdón. Voy a compartir nuevamente la pantalla. Pero en esta vez lo vamos a poner en pequeño para poder ver si logramos hacer algunas en los minutos que nos quedan. Comencemos con este que era el más fácil, digámoslo así, aunque ambos estaban fáciles. ¿Cómo les quedaría este? I watched TV last night. Vea que el verbo está en pasado. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Es una oración afirmativa. I watched TV last night. Entonces, remember that for affirmatives you can use, use I eh, did too. So do I, I or I do too, okay? I did Entonces, too. I did, I did too, okay? Oh, so, yeah. did. So, so, so did I. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, next. I won't be able. Recuerden que ese won't es como will not. Es la contracción de will not, el won't. Dice, I won't be able to come to class next week. Entonces, como es una oración negativa, podemos usar neither do I, o I don't either or either. Podría ser I won't either. I either. won't, ajá, uh -huh, I won't either. Ok. O también podría haber sido neither will I. Neither will I. Neither will I. Exacto. Excuse me. Ok, perfect. Ok, let's see. Let's advance a little bit faster in order to see if we can finish or, or at least start the, set, the other exercise. I live in Nogano. So do I? So do I, right? Because the verb is in present, right? In present tense. And it could be, I do too. Okay. I would like to go to Kyoto in the summer. Look, would like. So, but, so would I? You can say, yeah, so, uh, so would I, so would I. Or you can say, I, do I, I would too, I would too. Okay. And, and teacher, in this case, we can say, I would like to go too. You can say, I would, okay. eh, pero también lo puede dejar solamente con el auxiliar. So would okay. I, or I would too, aunque podría haber dicho, so would I, or I would 
like two. Ah, sí. Both ways are okay. Okay, let's see the next. Veamos el siguiente. I can play the violin. It's a negative. So you say? Neither can. Neither I. can. I. I can either. either. Neither can I. And the other way? I can. can't either. either. Okay, excellent. Okay, let me see the next. I don't like air conditioners. Negative. I don't don't like. Is it right? Neither do Easy I. because it's don't. So you say neither do I, neither do I or I don't either. Okay. I don't feel cold in the winter. It's the same, right? Because we are using the auxiliary too. Neither do I, I don't either. I can stand NATO. Negative. Neither can I. Okay, neither can I. I, can I. I can't either. Okay, and I'm looking for love. So, so do I, because the verb is in, so in this case present, right? I'm looking for love, so do I. I uh, do too. I do too. Uh, okay, excellent. Let's see the next. Veamos la siguiente. ¿Cómo nos quedó? I don't like wine. This was a little bit tricky. Este era un poquito más... Eh, como teníamos la guía, ¿verdad? Ahí, pero también podíamos haber usado otras expresiones. So, I don't like wine. ¿Alguien hizo esta y cómo le quedó? Um, why not? I like it. Ok, ¿verdad? Eh, ellos hicieron, why not? Why not? I like it. O podrían haber utilizado como en la guía, ¿verdad? Um, don't you? En este caso, como estamos utilizando el auxiliary don't, eh, tú, ¿verdad? Don't you? Don't you? I do. Esta era la otra forma también, siguiendo un poco el patrón que tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? The example. Y así, really, I like a lot, no es correcto, o... Oh. Podría haber sido, why not? I like it a lot. Ok. ¿Verdad? Sí. Possible. It was possible. Ok, I like the movie. Did someone work this? I didn't like. Ajá, ¿verdad? Did you, ¿verdad? Podríamos utilizar esta. Did you? ¿Te gustó? Porque el verbo está en pasado, ¿verdad? I liked. Did you? Eh, y puede decir, I didn't like it. O lo podría haber dejar, dejado hasta I didn't, ¿verdad? Mm. Ok, I have never been to Washington. Vea qué verbo está utilizando. Really, I was. Ok, really. I, eh, pero never been, nunca has estado. I have been. Ah, okay. Yo sí he estado, ¿verdad? I have been. Really? I have been. La otra forma eh, podría haber sido... Excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. We can say in this case, eh, mm -hmm. eh, haven't you? Yes. Haven't you? Haven't okay. you? Esa es la otra forma. Haven't you? Haven't you? I have been. Es como, nunca has estado, nunca has ido, vea, yo sí. <ríe> Ahí. Let's see. Yes, that, that's right. That's the way it is. Okay, number six. Oh my gosh, time is almost over. So I think this is, this is going to be the last one and then you can continue at home. So, um, let's see. I thought that this was easy. 
Did you solve it? ¿La hicieron ustedes? I thought, el verbo está en pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces puedo hacer como, como esta, algo similar como esta. Vamos eh, a hacer eh, esta. Podría ser, no sé, ¿verdad? Did you? I did didn't. you? Ajá, I didn't. Ajá, did you? I didn't. Ok. I didn't in that seat. Ok. I'm not married. ¿Cómo les quedó esa? Aren't you? Uh -huh. Aren't you? I am. Y puede agregarle, ¿verdad? I am married. Okay, I was I read the newspapers every day. Present. Do you? Mm-hmm. I do. I not. Do you? I don't. Okay, I drive a Daihatsu. Again, but that, do you? I don't. Y le puede agregar otra cosa. I drive a Toyota. <laughs> okay, I want to be eco, eco-friendly or ecological or green. Really, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. really? I'm not. I'm not. Okay, excellent. Very good job. We finished. Uh, so I'm going to send you this material uh, tomorrow morning. I will upload to the drive so you can double click to the link I sent you and you will find it, okay? Uh, in the extra material, you will have more here. Um, so uh, this is for you to continue practicing at home. Remember that this is uh, good for you to continue improving your writing and your reading. And the first one is that you can have, you can, you need to use neither, uh, either, nor, or so. And in the second one, use the same, neither, nor, or so, right? So you try to find uh, to, uh, the way, the best way to uh, complete the sentences. Uh, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí. I, I know it's a little bit tricky, but remember that the practice makes you masters, okay? Es, estas expresiones son un poquito tricky, pero recuerde que la práctica hace al maestro. That's it. So I ask you to please go to the platform, watch the video many, many times. Do please do the exercises in the platform, which is the key to pass the model and uh, do it well. If you have any doubt, please uh, let me know. I'm going to stop sharing. And I will go in a very fast way to the platform because I think that is missing. Yes. Okay, the, the knowledge check, just to finish this part. Okay, um, can you watch my screen of the platform? Yes. Okay, I am not crazy about the French food. The answer, neither am I or I'm not either. I can eat any kind of food. The answer, so can I, I can too. I think Mexican food is delicious. Answer, so do I, I do too. I can't stand greasy food. Neither can I or I can't either. I don't like salty food. Answer, neither do I, I don't either. I'm in the, mo I'm in the mood of something spicy. So am I, I am too. I am crazy about Korean food. So am I, I am too. I don't enjoy fast food very much. Answer, neither do I or I don't either. I always eat healthy food. Answer, so do I, I do too. I can eat bland, bland food. Answer, neither can I or I can either. Okay, and that's it. And then tomorrow we are going to continue with the 3.5 and trying to practice a little bit with so, to, neither, and either. But basically what you have to do is to go to the platform and watch the 3.6 video, which is about pronunciation. 
So for tomorrow, we are going to continue with the 3.7, talking about modal verbs uh, and, would fall, and will for requests. Okay, do you have questions so far, my dears? No teacher. No? no okay, teacher. thank you very much for staying with me these extra minutes, but it was important to complete the knowledge check in, in order to close this topic. Remember that I'm here in the chat for help you in case you need me, okay? See you tomorrow. Be okay, safe. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.